girls. This is your unit 10, week three, day one. And today I'm going to introduce some new concepts to you. Let's begin by taking a look at this word here. As you can see, this word, if we tap it out, the base word is b uh, g, bug. And then we add a suffix s after the word bug. So the word becomes bugs. And we remember that we would mark the base word and we would circle the suffix. So we would either underline or scoop that base and circle the suffix. Now a suffix is an ending that can be added to a base word. Today you will learn two new suffixes. You will learn ed and you will also learn ing. Take a look at this word here. We have, if we tap it out, er, e, n, t, rent. The base word is rent. And then we have a suffix ed. The ed suffix says ed or id. So we would read it rent, rented. Rent, rented. Again, using the same base word, er, e, n, t, rent, we would add the suffix ing. And the suffix ing says ing. We would read it rent, renting. Rent, renting. When ing is added to an action word, it means that it is happening now. When the ed suffix is added, it means that it already happened. Let's practice with some words. I am going to begin with this word here. T R U S T suffix E D. Now let's look at our base word before the suffix, and we are going to begin by tapping that word out. T er a t trust trust trusted. The word is trusted. Spell it away. T R U S T suffix E D. Let's try another word. C R A F T suffix E D. Once again, begin by tapping out that base word. K, er, a, f, t. Craft, crafted. Craft, crafted. So once again, that ed, that's saying the id sound, it means that it happened in the past. It, you crafted in the past. It already happened. Spell it away. C R A F T suffix E D. Another word D R I F T I N G. Tap that base word D R. I, f, t. Drift, drifting. Drift, drifting. The word is drifting. D, R, I, F, T. Suffix ing. 
then another word. B L A S T suffix ed. Tap out that base. B -l -a -s -t. Blast, blasted. Blast, blasted. Now I will show you how to mark words. Here we have the same set of words twice. So I am going to begin by showing you. You can either underline or scoop your base word and circle your suffix. So here we have rented, rent, rented, and I scooped rent and I circled the ed. Now, rent, renting. I'm going to scoop that base word rent and circle the suffix ing. Now, this syllable is also closed, so we would mark a closed syllable like this. Scoop that base word, circle the suffix ed, and then you would give that short e a brief and mark it below with a c because it is a closed syllable. Vowel followed by a consonant is a closed syllable. And once again, scoop that base word, rent, circle the suffix ing, and then give the e a brief and mark it with a c for a closed syllable. So that is what your marking should look like. Now I'm going to teach some more spelling words with a suffix. I am going to begin by dictating a word. Be my echo. The word is planted, planted. Now think, what is the base word? The base word is plant. So if I were to tap that out, I would spell it p -l -an -t. Now build pull and t. And then I would grab my suffix id. Now id we know is the ed suffix. Plant, planted. And then I will spell it away. P, L, A, N, T, suffix ed. Let's try another word. Be my echo. Twisting, twisting. What is the base word? The base word is twist. Let's tap that out. T -w -i -t. Twist. Okay. Twist, twisting. I'm going to begin. T -i that is my base word, twist. And then the word is twisting. I add that suffix, ing. Now, if we were to mark up this word, you would scoop that base word. You would circle the suffix. And then put your breathe, mark it, close syllable, and then you would take it a step further and say, do I have any blends in this word? I see a TW blend at the beginning, and I also see an ST at the end. So each would get its own underline. That would be the complete markup for the word twisting. We are going to be practicing many words 
throughout this week using the ed and ing suffix. Thanks so much for sticking with me today. Have a great day.